Okay, the next thing we're going to look in Blender is the fact that you can use a retopo feature. Okay, so I have the square highlighted. I, if I hold X on the keyboard, it beeps at me. Uh, if I go back to edit mode, if I hit X, ah, there we go. Uh, I want to delete, delete verses. Okay. Now, if I hit the retopo button and hit paint, what I could basically do now is if I have a design in mind, let's say, well, uh, curve design. Okay. I'm going to put another line right next to it. This time, curve it in just a little bit and come to a little bit more of a point and a little bit further into a point on this one. Okay, if I mess up, I can hit Control Z. And what's really hard is the fact that it is freehand sometimes. There we go. All right, so now what I could do is brush across these. sort of like that. Now let's say I wanted to extend one. Notice how whenever I get over one it actually kind of snaps to the end of it. This means if I go like this while it's snapped I can extend it out. And then I can add more. The ones that I added however will always have a potential failure. But I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, to kind of go in here and state that I want that. Hit enter on the keyboard with your mouse over the top of it. And there we go. We have a nice string of polygons now that I just kind of drew out. Okay, any stragglers left behind? You know, what you do is go into your top view Oops, there we go. And I can grab maybe this edge right here. Gotta put down the Wacon tablet. Okay, this edge, E to extrude, drag it out. And I can go into points mode, grab this point and this point, and go into mesh, vertices, merge. And I want to do at center. There we go. So that's a, a potential way to just kind of go in there and fix it a little bit. All right, so that's one feature of the Retapo. Now I'm going to show you the other feature. Okay, so in this next feature, I'm going to show you how to use a Retapo object on a 3D model instead of uh, just the plane here. Okay, so delete your square. I'm going to import something. Anything I import, make sure you do the following, especially from ZBrush. You want to do, 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 click and clamp scale at zero. That will bring in a perfect size ratio from ZBrush. Okay, now the head is here and the cursor is way over there. So what I can do is hold spacebar, go to transform, center cursor. Okay, and if that don't work, transform, center new. There we go. That'll center the object on there. Okay, if I hit one on my number pad, and hold shift while the middle mouse button I can do this and what I'm going to do is just kind of run you down on how this works now I would actually smooth out your object once so go into edit mode by right clicking on the object and going to add modifier add level and maybe one more time okay there we go nice and smooth 
Okay, so holding shift, middle mouse button, I'm going to get it in position here. And now what I'm going to do is go back into edit mode or object mode, sorry. And uh, what I'm going to do is make a plane. So I'm going to add mesh plane. Okay, now that made it way over there in the middle of nowhere. See it? So it doesn't matter where you put this. The fact of the matter is I made it. Because what I'm going to do is hit X on the keyboard and go to vertices. So this puts me in pure retopo mode because now when I click here, none of my actual faces show up. Okay, I'm going to go into paint and just kind of paint something. So go hold control this time and start painting. Okay, and then I can kind of zoom around the object. Okay, I'm going to just kind of go like this. I'm continuing to hold control. If you mess up on one, hit control Z. Okay, I'm going to draw another line through here. This time just around this area. Okay, good. When you get done, hit X or enter on the keyboard, and you have this. Now, if you want to see what you just did, uh, you can just kind of move this over to the side, and you can see that it is a retopoed eye. And again, if you miss anything, here's another way you can make a face. Go into point mode, right click on that point, hold shift, right click on the point, point, and then point, and then hit F on the keyboard. That's a way to fill in that point. And you can see that it takes the object's shape just like you would with the retopo feature in ZBrush. Now, there's a different thing. I wouldn't try to retopo a whole object with this thing. I would like maybe make parts for it, maybe an eye patch, maybe uh, some some kind of foreign body that would go sitting on top of the mesh. But as far as like retopoing the entire project with this thing, wow, good luck. But uh, other than that, very free, very cool, and I could see some applications for it. You can actually go in there and make weapons probably if you were just in a flat, a flat top-down view. I could sketch out a sword, uh, then kind of mirror it over to the other side and then um, extrude it and then get the actual width of the sword all right so that's just some ideas all right so that is the retopo feature within zbrush